Today I'll cover the scroller proxy method of scroll trigger, which lets you customize certain scroller values so that you can do things like integrate with a third party smooth scrolling library. First, let's get a quick overview of how scroll trigger works and how smooth scrolling scripts work. If you haven't already watched the main scroll trigger video, definitely do that first. There's a link in the description. Here we see scroll trigger using the native scroll position of the page to control this animation. If I scroll with a magic mouse or a touchpad, you can see that the scrolling is smooth. However, if I scroll with a regular mouse, you can see that it's choppy. That's the biggest reason why some people like to use smooth scrolling. Here's the same demo but with a smooth scrolling script applied. Here I'm using a magic mouse, and it's smooth. But here I'm using a regular mouse, and it's also smooth. However, notice that while the scroll trigger code is still applied, it doesn't work. This is because smooth scrolling libraries do what's known as scroll jacking, which means they hijack the native scroll behavior. When scroll trigger checks the native scroll position, like with the scroll chop property, it no longer reflects what you're actually seeing on the page. Usually smooth scrolling libraries give the scroller element a fixed position and then use transforms to offset things instead of actually scrolling. So from scroll trigger's perspective, nothing is scrolling. This is where scroller proxy comes in. We can use scroller proxy to tell scroll trigger to use our custom functions to get or set scroll related values. Most of the time you'll just need to use the scroll top property as shown here. Inside the scroll top function, we need to set it up to get or set the scroll position via the smooth scrolling script. In this case, I'm using a library called smooth scroll bar, but you could be using any scrolling library. Now when I scroll using the mouse wheel, it's not only smooth, but the animations trigger and fire as they should. Here's a more complicated demo using the same library that has smooth scrolling along with scroll trigger animations and pinning. Now you get the power of scroll trigger along with the smoothness of smooth scrolling. In the scroller proxy documentation, you can see all of the possible properties available. These will allow you to handle horizontal scrolling, handle pinning more dynamically, and get or set the dimensions and position of the scroller. You can also see demos of various smooth scrolling libraries that are paired with scroll trigger. As always, head on over to the Greensock forums if you have any questions. Happy tweening!